Hello, my name is Rachel. I love Halloween and I love shopping. So I went back out into the world to once again try and hunt down Halloween and I was much more successful this week. I stopped at a different TJ Maxx and I also went to at home. So I only went to two stores this time but I actually got a decent amount of stuff and I did take some video of what the stores had and I will again put that at the very end of this video for those of you who are interested and those of you who aren't interested can just stop the video when I say goodbye. <laughs> so at home actually had way like so much Halloween stuff but I, I didn't get much stuff at at home. I actually got a, almost everything from TJ Maxx which had much less but I, I think I think what my issue is this year um, shopping for Halloween is I already have so much decor I don't need or want any more decor like I keep seeing all these throw pillows that I want but I don't need or want any more throw pillows. <laughs> I don't have anywhere to put all these throw pillows. So <laughs> So I'm trying to find, I guess, more practical type items. And I, I guess that's getting harder because I also have a ton of those. Like I don't need any more dish towels and I definitely don't need any more coffee mugs. Although I think I still bought another coffee mug. <laughs> but anyway, let me just get into showing you what I did find. <laughs> and I just scared poor Jasmine away. <laughs> so I'm gonna start with my at home purchase. I, like I said, I didn't really get much at home at at home, even though they definitely had a huge selection of Halloween decor. But what I did get this three pack of scented room sachets, and they, each one has a little hang tag, so you can hang it in closets or you know somewhere in your room. And they have a uh, they smell like a cinnamon broom, <laughs> and my cinnamon brooms have pretty much lost their scent at this point. So I was really happy to get that, but the packaging is so cute. I don't know if you can see it's death moths or death head moths. And uh, the, the name for it is nine lives, which makes me curious as to why they wouldn't have put cats on the packaging if the scent is nine lives, but they went with death head moths. <laughs> but these were $4.99 for the pack of three. And then the other item that I did get um, from at home, <laughs> was the matching nine live scented candle and this does have a cat on it and it might not be matching it might they might be two different companies but it does say on it brewed with only the finest all natural ingredients in the grand tradition of salem's finest witches and it says nine lives potion number 666 on the label and this one was maybe just a touch scratched and beat up, but it was the only one they had in this scent. And I do like this scent, although, you know, like I said, I don't, I don't think it, the, the fact they're both called Nine Lives, I don't think they're made by the same company because they definitely are scented differently. So I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but this does have a really nice sweet scent. I like, I'm still haven't completely finished burning my Halloween candle from last year that I got at Big Lots. So I don't go through candles a lot, so I don't buy a lot of candles, but I, I couldn't resist because it was the last one and it had the kitty on it. <laughs> so everything else that I did get is from TJ Maxx slash Home Goods. The TJ Maxx I go to are combined with Home Goods. So first up, uh, I did get these bowls. I got two of them and they're black with this white skeleton hand. I considered, they had four, and I considered getting all four, but these are not microwave safe and have to be hand washed, so I feel like I wouldn't reach for them as often as I do my other bowls, so I only got two of them. But they were only $4.99 a piece, and I just think they're so cute. <laughs> and then next, I got these two incredibly large hand washes, liquid hand washes. Uh, I mean, obviously I had to get this one. It's the perfect pumpkin. <laughs> it's just so cute. And then I like this one because it had the little bats over the pickup. And uh, this one is just in sweet pumpkin. So they're both versions of pumpkin. And they were $4.99 each, which for considering the size of them, 24 fluid ounces, I don't think was a bad price at all. And like I said earlier, I don't need any more coffee mugs, <laughs> but I still got this coffee mug. It's a day of the dead cat <laughs> and he's just so cute. <laughs> so like, I mean, you know, cause these types of mugs have weird shapes. I'm not even sure if I'll ever actually drink out of it. I just, 
He's just so cute. And he was also $4.99. So, I mean, I guess I'll give it a try. <laughs> so I didn't even check if this was dishwasher safe. Oh, this is another item that do not microwave and hand wash only. So I have to, I'll have to remember that because I'm sure if I put him in the, the machine washer, he'd probably lose all of his paint. <laughs> so he might be more decorative than, than used. <laughs> I got a three pack of pumpkin syrups. It's pumpkin caramel, pumpkin spice, and pumpkin cheesecake. Um, if you saw my TJ Maxx unexciting coffee haul, uh, you might remember that I really do love these syrups. When, when I'm making like coffees and, and other drinks. I, I've actually discovered like I don't know about these types of flavors but the just straight up vanilla one tastes great with um, sparkling water. It tastes like cream soda. <laughs> so that's also another way that I drink them because like last time I also got those fruit flavored ones and <laughs> this is crazy. But I totally forgot I have a soda stream so I can just make sparkling water or whatever I want. <laughs> totally forgot I had that. It was tucked away in a cabinet and I even have an extra cartridge for when the current cartridge runs out. <laughs> so I've been making a lot of sparkling water and then uh, that's how I've been um, using those fruit syrups and I still have a little bit of those left but I, like I said I discovered the vanilla makes a good soda so it's possible one of these might make a good soda too. I think I already said but pumpkin caramel, pumpkin spice, and pumpkin cheesecake trio and this was six dollars and ninety nine cents. I think in one of my previous hauls I mentioned how I passed up these snake earrings from Betsy Johnson. <laughs> well, they had, this TJ Maxx had them so I didn't pass them up a second time. <laughs> these were $9.99 and they're just so cute like they're, they're little post earrings but then you know the, the back of the post has the dangly snake bit and I just thought those are adorable and I think for $9.99 that, that was totally worth it. I, I don't I try not to buy jewelry because you know you guys know I make jewelry and but something like this is not something I could make so they're just so cute and the box is adorable and then I got this bathroom rug <laughs> it says creep it real <laughs> Uh, they, they had a couple others. They had one that said like witch please and happy Halloween. Uh, those were I think in orange and I, I definitely didn't want um, orange. So I just got this one but is, this is such a soft rug. I mean this is just this is such a nice so it's an actual bathroom rug. Last year at Ross I bought this super cute. Uh, it was actually Day of the Dead Cats but it was like a runner but it was more of an indoor outdoor runner but I've been using that in my bathroom. However, it's not very absorbent and definitely not soft. <laughs> so I'm actually replacing it with this and I'll find somewhere else to put that one. But this one is just much going to be a much better getting out of the tub experience. <laughs> so, oh, and this was $14.99. <laughs> and then the final thing in my hunting for Halloween haul uh, is actually I found one of the sets of plates. So I actually have four sets of plates, or four plates in the same pattern. Uh, it, the past few years I've been collecting like the Halloween dishes and I've only ever been able to get like one of these or two of those. So I have this huge mismatch <laughs> of plates and stuff. Uh, so I'm happy to actually have a whole set of four of one one pattern. Uh, I After this though, I. I just I, I really don't need I don't need any more of the dishes um, from last year I didn't need any more tea towels I'm I think I'm done guys I think this is probably maybe there might be one more because you know <laughs> the call the call of the the merchandise but but I really don't need any more Halloween stuff because like the last couple of years I just went way way overboard and I think I think this just finishes off my collection. I have so many Halloween themed dishes now and coffee mugs and dish towels and home decor. I, I think I think we're done. But I was really happy with everything that I found in this haul. I feel like I found those last few pieces I needed. Like I needed a few more bowls and I really wanted a actual set of dishes as opposed to the one-offs I keep buying. <laughs> But so that that is it. That is everything in, in this uh, hunting for Halloween TJ Maxx and at home haul. And like I said, if you're you're interested in uh, seeing 
the video that I took of what was in the stores. Stay tuned uh, for after, after my sign off. <laughs> But thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy the video, feel free to give me a thumbs down and please tell me all about it in the comments below. And please subscribe to the channel. And I hope everyone is just staying happy, healthy, and safe in this incredibly crazy world we're living in. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.